Um, hello, can I speak to William Hayes, please? You're speaking tonight. Okay, hi. Um, my name is Patrick, and I'm calling from a society called Patria Fidelis. It's a youth society, a Polish youth society in the UK. Okay. Um, I have a couple of questions regarding yeah. some of your articles. Is that okay? Uh, yes, no problem. What are the articles? Um, look, there is a. The first one is um, well. First of all, I'm, I'm, I just want to know what is the source of information uh, used for this article, saying that these evil people invented the ghettos and killed four million Jews. I think it's 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 straight from the website. What? what? Right. That article's not on our website now. But it, as far as I know, it was on the website for a couple of days. Is that correct? Well, there is quite few of them. Um, well, uh, also, I think th exactly the our, same. Our, 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 our site is, is the meat industry. Meat industry, yes, that's right. Yeah, meat, meat trade industry. news daily. Yeah, yeah. is that is that is that the right that's one? Correct. Yes. Okay, look. Uh, also, um, I've looked on that website saying that Joe Stalin was the only man who knew how to treat the poles. Is that right? No. What are you talking about? Send me a, email me a copy. I'd love to see that. Uh, but the, the thing is, that, that that article, that news is deleted, but it was on for a few days. Well, if it's not, a, 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 I don't know. I think you, uh, you've got your liars crossed somewhere. Uh, so you're trying to tell me it was, it's, it's not, it's we're, not. We're, 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 we're in the, we're in the meat industry. Okay. Not a right. Okay then. Um, the second one was. Uh, okay, I mean, if yep. you can find, if, you, if, you, if, there, if there are any articles that uh, uh, cause any offence to any God, please email them through to us and, and I'll examine them. Okay. We okay. Post, we post 150 articles. We have, we post 150 articles every day. Okay. Right. I see. Orientated. Meat is our business. Okay, look. Okay, the second one is um. Uh, let me just see. Okay, it's called Argentina. Uh, the heading: Animal rights activist David Stajikiewicz in Poland, and so on. It says here um we, he also enclosed an article we published on 30th of November, which we stand behind every word. Is that correct? I've no idea. because oh, I'm on the website. The Excuse me. I'm on. What is the article? I'm on. I'm on the, the. I'm on the website right now. I will tell you the heading. Okay, it's a. Uh, it's called Argentina. Yeah, what's the of the article? You, you want me to read it for you? The article. The article you're referring to. We stand behind everything. Okay, but it says it's the article published on 30th of November, and the the article published on that day. <laughs> Was the article saying, as I said, you know, the Jewish people and uh, Polish people invented the ghettos and well, so on? Right. Send me a comment there that this guy is an animal, animal rights extremist that's been giving us a lot of problems. Right. It's actually hacked into our webpage. Okay, I see. And, uh, we've, been getting, we've been inundated with animal rights uh, emails from this guy in Poland. Uh, but he's given an undertaking to stop doing that, I think, no. But, uh, that's animal rights. That's nothing to do with history. Oh, look, I've got, I've got nothing to do with him. I don't even know this guy, but I'm, I, I was just wondering, you know. Um, okay, there is also one more thing that well, I... I mean, I mean animal, 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 animal rights make a habit of video under, video, secret video in meat factories. Yeah. Uh, farms. Okay. And they've hacked into our website. They've hacked into Ingham's poultry website in Australia. Right. Uh, and they've hacked into the bestie website in, website in the UK. Uh, the, the professional wrote. Okay. Okay. Just one one thing before we finish. Um, there is also article called Poland government do a U-turn on banning halal and kosher slaughter. Is that, that correct? That is correct. Yes, that article we did. We, that was last week. And we definitely did that. Yes. That okay. Was last week. Okay, so, um, and w w when I... Uh, Tuesday, uh, the 27th of November, Yeah. 
the Polish government banned all kosher and halal meat in the country. Yeah. Look, and I, I've, on I've, I've, Friday, I've, I've, yeah. after so much pressure from the Jewish community and the Arab community, they rescinded the order and decided that they're going to halal meat and kosher meat legal. Okay, because you see, I've, I've got nothing to do which, with meat. Which it is. Yes. Which, which, which it is in the European Union. Yes. Okay. Look, the, the only thing is, I've got nothing but, to do with the meat I, and that but, stuff. The, the only thing is, I'm just worried about the discrimination which I saw on your website. That's the thing. But the only thing is, uh, as I said... We represent a lot of kosher people. We represent a lot of halal people. Right. And uh, that was a big blow to the kosher and halal community, but that legislation was passed last Tuesday. Okay. But thankfully it was rescinded on the 30th of November last Friday, maybe on the books for four days. Okay. Right, just, bef just before we finish, there is, there is a video attached to this news. It says, Kosher concer uh, concerns Polish court rules Jewish and Muslim. Um, it's a YouTube video from uh, Jewish News One. Is that correct? Is that on your website? Is it? Uh, that was, uh, yes, that's the current news. That was last week's news. Yes. Okay, because you see, I'm, I'm a bit worried because uh, I've watched that video carefully. It's short video, it's just 33 seconds, and for me, it doesn't look like Poland because uh, if you watch it carefully, there is like a small shop selling me. Excuse me. I didn't quite catch what you said. What okay, look, look, I will, I will just speak slowly. The, the, the video is very short. I've watched it carefully many times. And yes. uh, at, sec yes. at about half of the video, it's a second 28 or 29 seconds, you can see a shop selling meat. And the prices of meat are, yes. are portrayed in uh, euros. And I'm, I'm, I just, I'm yes, but I, I think what you have to do, what, what the, the idea of the, of the video was to listen to the narration. Okay. The video was in relation to the ban. Okay. Now, that was a, the ban caused great panic on the 27th, 28th, and 29th. So, so what was the country so on the, the, the ban listed on the 30th? Oh, so, okay, so what was the country then? But the ban was introduced by the Polish government on the 27th of November. Right, but I'm, I'm talking about the video now. Uh, on the video, it says on the top right heading, it says Poland, but I don't think it is Poland. Yeah. What, what country yeah, is but that? The, but the actual narration is about the, 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 the narration of the video was about the Polish meat ban. Okay. Listen to the video. Uh, no, I, I do listen, but the thing is, I'm just worried you, you can't... Yeah, but I, mean, uh, I mean, it's quite clear what's on the video. It says that, that the uh, kosher and halal meat was banned. Yeah, it was banned in my country, but uh, on the heading, top heading, it says Poland. It has to be, you know, strictly related to the country, and even the images has to Look, be... I mean, the, <laughs> the commentary is very clear in itself that the... Uh, it was a very unjust ban, it was okay, a, right. in my opinion, an anti-Semitic ban, but there you go, that's just my opinion. Okay, 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 thank you for, thank you for that, thank you for, for discussion, thank you. Okay, okay thank you. Thank you, goodbye.